Africa is one of the most mysterious and interesting continents on the planet. Its vast plains and deep valleys are home to some of the most captivating wildlife you can imagine. Most of these creatures have grown up without the interference of human beings affecting their natural habitats, so they have developed unstoppably to what we know today. This is why Africa is so wild and captivating. However, don't be fooled. Although this region evokes the image of safaris, exotic visits, and all kinds of enchanting places, it hides, in reality, an endless number of creatures that very few know about. But if you're willing to join us on this occasion, you will be able to meet them. Would you dare to discover what this continent hides? Then it's time to begin. Number 5 One of the creepiest and most aggressive creatures you might encounter if you visit Africa is far from walking on all fours. In fact, its appearance isn't as fierce as that of a lion, but it's much more aggressive, faster, and lethal than the king of felines. Its name is Mao, although the local tribes know it as Mao Men, and they are a species of apes or monkeys that move in herds and terrorize everyone they come across. Generally, these creatures don't usually go so far as to murder humans. They may do so if they feel in danger or if their appetite drives them to it. One of the first sightings of these species was recorded by hunter Roger Curdney in his book A Greenhorn in Africa in 1940. There, he compiles the testimonies of numerous local tribes who describe the Mao men as wild beasts that walk on two legs, have white skin and a coat so thick that it hides the features of their face. It's usual for these creatures to cross the path of tourists visiting the Long Note Mountain, although they aren't exclusive to this locality. Their leaping through the trees leads them to the places where they find sheep or any animal from which they can feed and drink their blood. However, these creatures are just the beginning of the mysteries of Africa, just the first stop of the dangers that lurk in this place. That's why the following creature will make you reconsider your next vacation, at least if you were planning to visit Madagascar. Number 4 One of the creepiest and least known creatures to those visiting Africa prowls the deepest recesses of Madagascar. Its sightings have been infrequent, but there's enough information to ensure that this monstrous beast has been terrorizing the natives for centuries. This creature is known by many names, Kotoki, Vizimba, and the most common, Kalanoro. All of them are used to refer to the same humanoid beast that walks around the island looking for a bit of food. The oldest peoples of Madagascar, the Antikorana and the Simiheti, claim that the Kalanoro usually inhabits the deepest caverns of the region. They have been dragging their victims there for 2,000 years and, curiously, they point to it as one of the reasons why many tribes migrated from the farthest areas of the island. A common story usually describes the Kalanoro as a creature of no more than 60 centimeters in height, with certain humanoid features, crooked, hooked fingers, and an incredible weakness for seafood, vegetables, cereals, and children, since, according to the stories, it usually abducts them, as well as cattle and food from the villages in Madagascar. Of course, the Kalanoro is a mysterious beast, and very little is known about it. Quite the opposite of the next creature on the list, one of the most terrifying and dangerous monsters in the Congo. Number 3 Few creatures are capable of imposing as much fear and respect on the inhabitants of a village as the following one. The local tribes know it as Makelem Bembe, which means he who stops the flow of rivers. In the Lingala language, there's no need to memorize its name because once you have the chance to come across its path, you'll never manage to forget it. It's usually described as a long-necked dinosaur species, like the Diplodocus, but much more aggressive and territorial. Its habitat is located between Congo and Cameroon, but it can often invade other parts of the region. According to the natives, its meat is poisonous and it usually prefers the shelter of the jungle and lakes. Its description has been the subject of much debate, 
as some describe it as a long-necked animal with a long tail and three clawed legs, while others define it as a kind of a giant lizard and can swim and walk on land without any problem. Regardless of its form, the inhabitants of the region have coexisted and fought with this creature for centuries. On some occasions, the natives have managed to hunt this monster, but this has only made the herds more aggressive. As you can imagine, this creature, which can reach up to 10 meters in length, doesn't hesitate to attack, especially when a human crosses its path. They consider us easy prey, and they are quicker when they found us in small groups. Undoubtedly, the Mokela and Bembe are mysterious creatures that rarely come into contact with the local tribes, but everyone knows and fears them in the region. No one is safe when it comes to this wild monster. Interestingly, something similar happens with the following creature, although in this case, it will always find a way to catch you, no matter how hard you try to hide. Number 2 Just when you thought there couldn't be any more terrifying creatures in Africa, the Bokaonde and Keonde tribes in Zambia confirm that we are wrong. Very wrong. We don't know what true terror means until we meet the Kongomoto, a huge winged flying beast that terrorizes the tribes and the skies of this country. Originally, its sightings date back from the 20th century, when Frank Milland wrote a series of oral accounts from the tribes themselves, who carefully describe a fearsome flying beast similar to a bat, but whose size surpassed any living creature and was used to abduct fishermen and children. To these tribes, its name means boat prowler, and boy is this accurate. Throughout its history, the Kongamato has been the main culprit in the disappearances, kidnappings, and murders of fishermen and sailors. Its voracious appetite has made it one of Zambia's most terrifying creatures and one of the main reasons to return home before the sun goes down. According to stories, this huge beast often hides in caves and swamps. Its bat-like appearance is complemented by a reddish leather-like body, monstrous wings, and a set of teeth as dangerous as its size. Few witnesses have managed to escape its vicious attacks, and those who claim to have seen it can only describe it as trembling and wishing to flee the area, as they would rather flee their homes than fall into its clutches. Of course, this isn't the only creature that has caused mass migrations of people in Africa. In fact, it's not even the scariest. At least not when compared to the next beast on the list. Number 1 Few accounts have survived from early explorers of Africa during the 18th and 19th centuries. However, one of the most curious is still incomplete today, but it reveals a strange and incredible sighting. Its protagonist is the hunter Edgar Beekert Brunson, a man who came across a beast 15 feet long, a head as big as a lion's but with a leopard-like features and a jaw full of white fangs that protruded directly from its upper lip. In addition, it had the broad back of a hippopotamus, a white crocodile-like tail, and skin composed of scales. He named the creature Dinganek, and surprisingly, after seven rifle shots, the beast didn't even flinch, but only approached the ship and rammed it with moderate force. The impact was so quick and accurate that the ship broke in half and the explorers had to return home using their skills. The local tribes claimed to have accounts of this strange creature. They generally stayed away from its presence, as it was considered a carnivorous creature that, in the past, had already decimated numerous villages. Very little is known about this beast. Some doubt its existence, but numerous sightings are reported every year. No one knows how to explain its origin or where it came from, but one thing is for sure, this demonic creature is one of the most terrifying beasts in the whole continent. Although if you'd really like to meet an out-of-this-world creature, you'd better get ready for the next animal on the list. Zone Zero You may not have heard the latest news, but the Gambia has become one of the top attractions for news outlets in recent years. 
The reason is still under the utmost mystery, but some researchers have managed to come up with a chilling find. According to reports, a gigantic dinosaur-like beast has been sighted in the Gambia. The natives refer it as Ninkinyanka, or the Devil's Dragon, and the reports are shocking. The most popular descriptions claim that this creature possesses a reptilian body whose size exceeds 15 meters long. Additionally, its elongated neck supports a head with two large horns and a fearsome maw filled with thick, sharp, dragon-like teeth. Those who have come across this creature have found themselves in serious trouble. In general, its ferocity is legendary. Its attacks are immediate and it tries to ram its victims or devour them with its strong jaws most of the time. Of course, this creature is nothing more than a regional legend for many. Sightings remain rare and evidence of its existence is virtually non-existent. However, local tribes maintain testimonies and accounts that go back decades into the past and seem to prove that this beast has been lurking in the shadows of the country for a long time. No one knows the exact story and origin of this creature, but like the animals on this list, they make up the most unusual creatures you may encounter if you ever visit Africa. However, these creepy beasts are just the first stop in the many secrets hidden in the continent. If you really want to know the mysteries of its plains and valleys, you'd better check out the following videos and get ready to meet some creatures that came out of the worst horror stories.